What's involved is it's just a simple blood test. And what's really nice about the AMH test is that it doesn't have to be done on a particular day of your menstrual cycle, whereas the FSH test, as we know, is limited to day three of the cycle. The other thing that's really nice about the AMH test is it can be done for a woman who's on birth control pills even. So a woman who's not, you know, right now attempting pregnancy, even using birth control pills. So if she just comes into the office on a given day just to discuss what her fertility potential might be, then we can just get that blood test that day and she'll have the results back uh, in a matter of just a few days. It also is good for patients who, as an adjunct to FSH, for patients who present with infertility as well, it seems that it is a better predictor of ovarian function than FSH. FSH can vary from cycle to cycle. It can also vary with your hormone levels, but AMH is a much more stable level. And we have found that patients who are undergoing IVF who may have a normal FSH, but their anti-mullerian hormone level is low, that does predict more difficulty with stimulation and diminished ovarian reserve probably better than the FSH level. There's been one really nice you know, uh, study that's been published and it does predict that if a woman has an AMH level of less than one, that she will have difficulty conceiving over the next year. So we really feel like this is a real boon to our patients.